I'm currently standing right here in the Bronco Commons where CPP's annual hot dog caper is taking place and they certainly were not dogging around for its big comeback post pandemic. We started planning for this event in August, um, so usually it's a two to three months out and then we weren't really sure this year we were going to come back, but as soon as we got the okay we started planning early August. A lot of it was just the uncertainty because of COVID because um, the last hot dog caper was in 2019, so we did two years without one. So again, it was just kind of figuring out, is it safe? Can we do it once we got that approval? Um, you know, there weren't really too many complications because everyone's super excited for it to be back. In 1983 is when it started, and the president at that time just wanted to give back to students, give them a free lunch, and welcome them to campus. So we have a total of 13,020 hot dogs for all of our students today. Um, we actually have, uh, in total, we've got vegan options. So our vegan options are vegan hot dogs, along with vegan bread. With over 13,000 hot dogs being made today, preparation began at 3 a.m. this morning, from cooking to delivery to right here to your very hands. Well, we have a very big operation here. Um, a lot of hands were involved in the planning of this, um, both students as well as like dining services team. We had facilities, we had electrical, we had plumbing. So huge, huge operation. Um, you know, all in favor of the students, which is very good. Um, that included um, basically planning the event. So starting with really the orders. So we've got to order well in advance um, to make sure that we've got enough um, totals for the students. Um, so that gets planned far in advance along with coordinating and liaisoning with like facilities and marketing and everyone else who is involved um, with the layout, you know, getting permissions. Um, so that usually is about three months in advance. We had, this year, we had a huge opportunity this year where we had a lot of students actually work with the planning of the event. Um, so we had students within um, like marketing also help with the planning of the event and designing all the marketing materials for the event. Um, we had students in the preparation of the event. So Centerpoint was able to cook all of our hot dogs. That was 100% student driven. And then we had all the ordering and the planning and the helping assisting with the layout and et cetera that was done by our culinary student assistants um, within the culinary development department. So if it wasn't for our students, we couldn't put this together. Absolutely. Um, for volunteer staff, uh, we all assigned uh, a shift. And so I came like right before my shift started. They instructed us with like, you know, everything that we need to be able to serve our students. Uh, so we came in, checked in, and then started prepping before the students got here. Seeing all the students come out and have fun, you know, it's like a huge event, a lot of collaboration. So it's like an opportunity, it's that downtime opportunity for us to coordinate, have a good time. You know, it's like hats off to the students, showing our appreciation for them attending what a great school we have here. Um, and, and then just, you know, talking to them, because a lot of times we don't sort of get these opportunities. So it's a huge opportunity for us to like just chit chat with the students and, you know, hang with the students at their level.